Hey, today I'm going to be looking at the sunset changes and sort of talking about how I think they're going to be changing the meta or how I think that it's going to change how you play. So the first thing I'm going to look at is main. And I think in main, this cam was pretty well known, right? I think a lot of people put it on this yeah. wall, but I think with the changes, it's pretty important you put it on this wall. Um, the reason for that is because you can actually see more, right? This box would be obscuring your view a lot more if you place it on the other side of the window. Um, and one of the most important things about this camera is when someone has an operator on this angle, like this, you can actually see their barrel, and I'm pretty sure sometimes you can also see their foot. Um, so it's really important to have your camera on this side of the window. And that can obviously take a bit of a tighter angle and not allow that to happen, but this is a much harder shot. And I do think as well, the meta is also going to be uh, doom spotting this yeah. um, to, if they have an operator, potentially, because it's going to allow the player following up with this player, with the original jump spotting player, to spam this operator off the angle. Um, so I do think that it's going to be really important the way you actually clear this when you know they have an operator. Um, something else as well about this angle is that it used to be different before, right? It used to be that the camera had no chance of seeing this player because you could play in an angle like, like this that was quite deep um, because yeah. this box didn't exist. Um, but now it does exist, it means that the camera actually has a decent chance of seeing this person. I think it is also doable without the operator. Uh, sorry, not without the operator. Without the camera to find this operator player by simply, honestly, just jump spotting and then spraying them off the angle using this player. Um, so I do think that there are ways to not play Cypher here as well. And we'll talk about that in a second when we go into the site. Uh, because I do think that Cypher might be relinquishing some of his power a bit, I think, as a sentinel on this map. And it might make room for other sentinels. So um, one of the next changes as well we got were, was this box in main. And this is mainly to help with the post plant. As you can see as well, this plant position isn't possible either. So it basically means that it's a lot harder to play that spam position because this one is the only one that's possible. Um, and it's, it's less good, basically. And it got less good mainly because of this box. Because there's, there's not two angles here. And there's no safety in the middle of this box. Like, in the middle of the angle, basically. In the middle of main. So it's a lot easier to get sprayed back by the defenders. Or the defenders retaking the site, right? It's a lot easier to get spammed back. So... This box was really, really important to remove for the healthiness of the retake. Um, something like goes that, and the side effect of removing that box was adding this one and this one, which we've already talked about. This box, but this box is worse than the than the, the previous box because we couldn't really use either side of it to. Um, we could use either side of it to take fights, right? This box we can't, right? We can only take one side. We can't go around the other side because it's blocked by the wall. Um, and that's obviously that's obvious, right? It's obvious. However, I do think that this main is still defendable, right? You can still place a, a, a smoke here, and you can play a player like this, and you can play a player like this. And I think you can contest B main if you want to. It's not really done a whole lot, but I think it has the possibility to be played like that, potentially. I and mean, I think there just has never been the need because of the way that it's been so easy to place the unbreakable trip, which is now not possible, um, as you can see now. So... Maybe there's going to be more reason to play into main and to pl place a smoke here and to play for this area rather than actually just let them go into this unbreakable trip or to use util to go into the unbreakable trip. Um, so just something to bear in mind with main. Um, then we're going to go on to the actual site. And I want to talk about this first, right? The only way you can place a trip here on Cypher is like this, right? These are the two uh, like sort of ways you can do it. And both ways is going to be shootable. So to me, it may, may it basically means to me that there might be a change in the Sentinel roster where we might have Killjoy might come in, we might see Vice, we might also see Chamber. I think those are the three most likely options. I think Chamber is the most likely on solo queue. I think Killjoy might see some play on competitive play. The main problem with Killjoy is that she has really bad attack ults. Um, although maybe there's some teams that are a bit more um, creative than me. And they will find some some potentially good alts for Killjoy. There are also like some. There's a decent one on A, but the rest I, I don't think there's much else good on uh, Killjoy for this map. Um, the other one is Vice as well. I think Vice overall is underutilized and underused right now. Um, I think she is actually pretty good. I think she just needs a bit more, more time for people to cook on her. I think she is a bit worse than she used to be with these changes actually, um, as well. So I think we might just end up seeing Killjoy, um, or we might see end up seeing Chamber, who is really good on this map. I think. Um, with the, the amount of good rendezvous you have and the and your trademark, you can play how you want an attack as well. So I think overall, like I think Chamber might be the one that gets played a lot more on the sunset. Going on to the actual site itself and the plant positions, 
there are now quite a few plant positions because before you basically didn't plant very differently because there was always one good plant basically which was like across this wall right this is like the main good plant you could just always plant there and go into main and you've got the freest spam of your life for post plant um now it's a bit different there's like multiple different situations where you might want to plant differently um so now if, this is like the main plant that a lot of people do as default i think it's one of the worst plants overall maybe um i think it's a lot more of a catch-all plant where it, it doesn't really matter where you're playing from it's probably fine um, but there are situations where you can plant a different, you can do a different plant and it would be better for the situation. Um, so one of those situations is this one. So if you do have any market control, I think this plant I have dropped this is better. I have um, this plant spike. is much better. I would also think as well, this plant is better as well if you have any control. Because if you can plant here, if you have like maybe a tiny here. bit of market control and CT control, here. then it means that this plant is pretty good. You can, it has essentially works like this angle here, here. but for CT over here. It also works the same way for market in some ways too, where it's quite a small amount that you have to spam. It also means as well, if you plant here for the market player like this, if someone tries to defuse, they place a smoke on themselves. They have a lot more range of motion to like swing the, the market player, right? If you plant there. If you plant here, they have a lot less space to work with. They have to go onto the edge of the planter. Maybe they can try and walk down, but it's a lot more awkward. Um, they can maybe go super left over here, but it's not really that useful when the bomb is planted here and the, the enemy who's playing the post plant doesn't have to go this far out, right? They can just sit here still. Um, so I do think that this plant here. is also quite good. So there's two good here. plants potentially. If you have a bit more control of the map, if you have market here. control, this one's pretty good. If you have market and here. CT control, this one's pretty good. If you also have market and CT control, you can also think about this plant. This plant is pretty good mainly if you've had CT and also crucially the enemy team has flipped the map on you so they're going yeah. flank and they're going mid rather than going through their normal CT route race basically. So you flip the map, you planted here and now the CT, the C, this CT position is really easy to spam from CT. Um, right, it's really easy to spam. Also if you do have someone like flanking the yeah. flanks basically going through main super late then they also have a wall to bounce mollies off of, bounce darts off of, and that kind of stuff, right? Or they can just simply walk out, and it's not too bad to walk out of, and walk into, and spam this person, right? Because they're, they're going to be in a very limited position. If they do smoke themselves, um, it's going to be pretty easy to spam this person from here as well. So I think generally, this this plant here. is good as well. So we've got pretty good plants overall that we can do. Um, Sorry, not this plant, this plant, this plant here, this plant here, uh, and uh, this plant here. There's also one also, there's also, well, there's this one as well, um, which can be done as well. Very similar to the old plant we used to do. It's really easy to spam, right? One of the things, though, about this is that it is also, it's not visible to this side of main. Um, and it's actually quite crucial that, that it's visible to all of main. Um, so a plant you might think about doing is this yeah. one over here. It's a really hard plant to get because you have to do it basically in line of sight or like in spammable, in a spammable position. Um, for the CT. So it's going to be hard to get this plant. But it, it gives the advantage of this side of main. Having vision on, on it basically. Being able to spam it through smokes. This side of main. So you don't have to go into the middle of main to get this plant or this plant. You can you can sit on this side of main and get this plant. This is crucial for when you've got like things like Brim Alt or Sova Alt or something. Where the and where the players send like use that ult. Especially Sova Alt. Especially because Sova is more relevant on this yeah. map. Um, it's going to be ulting from like this position. Maybe this position. Um, but very rarely will ult from here because this is not only is it closer but also it's in a corner yeah. that's really easy to then hold for the enemy so i think that um it gives them less options basically so i think that maybe this is like pretty good for when you have those sort of situations um where someone's going to play on this side of main or if you've got someone that's going yeah. like a super late uh wrap around or something then yeah. this plant is technically better but those situations are also quite hard to force at least that one specifically is hard to plan for so it wouldn't really matter. Like, it wouldn't really make sense for you to plan for that because you can't really plan for that situation. Um, so that's it for the site. And that's it for the main. So we're going to just talk about this mid-change as well. Um, and this mid-change, honestly, so far, it's been pretty good. A lot of people don't check it. And I get tend to get kills on people not looking at me. As time goes on, it will get worse. It will get worse because people will be more likely to, to check this. Um, I think as time goes on as well, it's going to be better to play like this out of the out of the corner and hope that you get a kill on someone walking out of tiles like this right um because so i think a lot of the time as well people are disjointed in mid i think this player tends to be a bit slower coming out mid than the tiles players tend to be 
Um, so I think you can actually realistically get a timing here. I do think this position is going to be reserved for either strong team play within mid, where you have someone yeah. watching this, or you have some reason to play this angle. And the other reason is going to be if you're playing chamber, because chamber can yeah. TP through the wall. So I think that this angle is like a chamber angle. It's, it's decent right now as like a mix-up angle. You can do it on ecos, on uh, bonus rounds, where you can maybe get a one-for-one one or something, or maybe get like a really, really sneaky kill, um, or two even, um, if, depending on like if they check it or not. So I do think that this angle is fine for now. It will get worse as time goes on. And you can use it as kind of like a mix-up to what you want to do in rounds. Um, so that's it for the changes. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.